If you've been watching the news lately, it sounds a lot like this. Ah, 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 we're all gonna die! Lately, there's an organization known as ISIS that has been scaring the bejeebus out of a lot of people in this world. And quite frankly, I think there are a lot of legitimate concerns about ISIS and their ability to inflict terror and kill individuals in this world. But I think a lot of those fears are highly misplaced and irrational and not based on any sound reason or logic. So in this video today, I just want to give you four reasons why I don't believe we need to be afraid of ISIS. First of all, Syria and Iraq are about 6,500 miles away from the United States. That's 6,500 miles. That means whoever wants to come here from over there has to be an extremely highly motivated individual to want to come here. And I don't know about you, but I have a hard enough time getting up every day and driving to work, and I work from my home. Second of all, the odds of actually dying in a terrorist attack are very, 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 very remote. Uh, so remote as to almost be absurd. As a matter of fact, you are more likely to harm yourself and kill yourself than you are to ever be shot or blown up by a guy in a turban or wearing a diaper on his head. For example, did you know that the odds of you killing yourself are only about 1 in 115, but the odds of you dying from a terrorist attack are 1 in 20 million? You are more likely to be struck by lightning twice in your lifetime than you are to be killed by a terrorist. About the only thing less likely to happen to you than being killed by a terrorist is actually winning the Powerball lottery, which is about 1 in 175 million chance. So if you win the lottery, I would be really afraid of ISIS because something almost impossible happened to you. Um, but if you haven't won the lottery and you haven't been struck by lightning twice in your life, I think the odds of you um, being killed by a terrorist are, well, pretty slim. Another reason I'm not afraid of dying at the hands of ISIS is because I look at the, the terrorists who make up that organization and that nation, if you want to even call it that, as individuals who are created in the image of God. And I, as a Christian, choose to look at those individuals with the eyes of Jesus Christ, and the eyes of Jesus Christ look at those terrorists and love. Yes, Jesus Christ is appalled over the things that these individuals are doing. Jesus Christ hates murder. Jesus Christ hates sin. But Jesus Christ also looks at every single one of those individuals as somebody for whom he died. And as a result, as a Christian, I choose to look at those individuals with the same eyes as Jesus. And looking at them in that way, I realize that perfect love casts out all fear. Therefore, I am not afraid of a terrorist from Syria blowing me up and killing me any single day of the week. Finally, I would just like to say one of the reasons I also do not fear ISIS is because I ultimately believe in my heart of hearts that Jesus Christ overcame the grave and that one day, even though when I die, I shall too be put in the ground, but one day I also too shall be raised up into new life and experience a resurrected body and a resurrected life. So as much as I don't want to die and try to take you know, care of myself and, and uh, to live life in a somewhat safe manner, at the same time, I don't walk around in fear because I know that even though I should die, that within seconds of my dying, I will open my eyes and see Jesus Christ face to face. And if I live my life as a Christian out of that conviction and that belief in my heart and in my mind, then I realize that, yeah, no, I don't want to die. And there are things to be afraid of in this world. But, you know, at the end of the day, the worst thing that could probably happen to me would be for me to die or somebody I know and care for to die. And as terrible as that is, in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that bad. Because when you die, if you believe in Jesus Christ, you'll open your eyes and you'll see him face to face and you'll hear his voice and you'll get to spend all of eternity with him and the joy of your master and the joy of the one who created you so that you could live a life without fear, so you could live a life with purpose, so you could live a life with the opportunity to love even your enemy. Even as Jesus Christ loved you all the way to the point of the cross 
and died for your sins. You know, that is the sort of thing that motivates me every day. The things I see on the news, the terrorist reports I hear, the threats we get from afar, I'm, I'm aware of those things. But they don't haunt my heart. They don't cripple me with fear. And I feel free to live my life in the glorious freedom that comes from knowing Jesus Christ as my Lord and as one who overcame the grave. And I would just like to call upon you who all are terrified, all who are afraid, all who see what's going on in the news and, and can't stand the thought of, of possibly facing an individual who may want to harm you or your family. I would just like to call upon you to, to embrace these truths that I have spoken about today and to realize that you too can participate in that same life, the life that Jesus Christ truly wants to give to you right now.